Hello, welcome to our part four of our Finale 2012 tutorial. Uh, my name is Jorge Silvestrini and we will be working today on finishing the input of all of the notes, which will be uh, the second page of this arrangement that we've started. If you haven't yet, there's a uh, part one, two, and three series already on um, Finale 2012 when we started with this song by Rascal Flatts, I Won't Let Go, and I started showing from uh, the transcription I did on paper um, till the point that we are now. So with that said, you're going to have links in here that you can go back to that first video and then move over um, through all the other videos as well as, as uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, but with that said, let's go ahead and get into um, our second page, which is our goal for this video, is to finish doing the second page, okay? So here we go. Um, I'm going to do, be doing a lot of switching of screens so that we could work this out. So page two, we're gonna do this first four measures. So first thing I wanna do is click in here, use my down arrow to just get four measures there. Then we're going to input some chords, which is going to be G, B minor. So let's go to our chord tool. Let's go right in there. First B. Click and type G, well, space, 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 B minor, which will be B.88. Space, 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 then C, space, 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 space. G over D, and lastly, D. I'm going to stop with the chords, pressing escape twice. I get out of that, and then I'm going to go to my tool, a staff tool, where I can select these four measures, and then press the S to get the slashes, okay? So that's how I get there. Um, I'm, I need a rehearsal letter, so fairly simple. We go to expression, double click there, rehearsal marks, go and it's there. Chorus, so go in here and it will also be there. Ready, waiting for us. Then we're done with that. Uh, we're not going to engrave yet, so we're going to keep on going. We have next four measures, so same thing. One, two, three, four. Click, down arrow, we get the four. I saw a double bar, so right click, bar line double most of these things i already showed on the other video so if you're just uh, getting hang up on some of these things just go back to one of those videos um, and you will get it you'll see how i explain them a little bit slower um, so e minor again is e88 b minor b88 c and then g over d perfect okay slashes again I'm gonna go through here staff tool s we got them then there's a drum fill there that I wrote and I forgot the dynamics here so it's clicking here first go to dynamics that was meso forte click in there and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look for that uh, drum fill that we have created it's right there I'm gonna sign it I'm going to leave it there for now. Our goal is to input and not engrave right now. So let's move on to the bridge. I want to show you how to create the endings. So I'm going to need five bars in this case. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And we're going to go in here. Let's create letter E. Rehearsal. Just click there, that's letter E, bridge. I'm gonna click in there, I don't have it, so I'm gonna just get the chorus, I'm gonna duplicate it, edit it, type bridge, okay, assign, and we have now our bridge. Our dynamic is forte, so let's put that in there. Forte, then add B3, so I'm gonna go into one of our text boxes, uh, remember, since it's below, it's going to be in here on the expressive 
text. I'm going to get this all in, duplicate it, edit it. I'm going to say add B3. No exclamation. Press OK, assign it, and we have it there. Okay, so now back to building our chords. So input of the chords, we select there, that's an F. Next chord is an A minor, so we know it's going to be A colon 88. Then it's a G. Then it's a D sus 4, which we have the trick DX. And then regular D. And one last thing that we did was input some notes in there. So let's go back in here. Let's input those notes. Four quarter notes. And then I press seven on my numeric keypad for the whole note. Perfecto. Now, um, when we talked about spacing before, I'm gonna just do this three here slashes. When we talked about spacing before, I'm gonna show you a little trick in here that we are going to do so the spacing looks the same. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get quarter notes into this measure. So F, 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 A, 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 G, 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 G. You see how Finale automatically gave us the right spacing for this five bars. Hopefully you can see that and you can catch that. Um, we'll continue on. We're going to put our repeat. So that's our, I'm right clicking, repeat, and I'm creating a four repeat. And then in here on the G is when we're going to create our first and second ending. So I'm going to click on the G measure. I'm going to right click, go to repeats, create first and second ending. And it's going to work. It's going to do it for us. That's all we need to do for now. Later on when we engrave, we're going to move this one over here and this two over here and then move the quartz down. Okay, so there's a key change. Perfect. A couple of ways of doing this. So we could go to our key change tool, key change there tool. Then we can come back here, double click it, move this to A major, tell it through the end of the piece and press OK and it's going to create this key change for us, okay? I'm going to undo this, and I'm going to show you another way. From your regular tool, selection tool, right click, and we could go key signature. And I could just say A major. So two ways of doing that. And then over here, we're going to do a double bar. And now we have it just like that, and we're going to continue. So the piano comes into play here. We need four bars, so let's do four bars. Let's do four bars here too. All I'm doing is selecting and using my arrow key. And this is letter F. So I'm gonna go in here, press our rehearsal letters, put letter F. So I had four A's in there. Then I had two C sharps. And now I have chords, so check this out. I'm going to put the first note, C. Then I know I need a third up, so guess what I'm going to press. If you guessed three, it's correct. As soon as I press three, I'm going to get a third up. And then I need an A, so guess what I'm going to press now. If you set a six, no. Because now the note that is in focus right now is the E. So I need a fourth from the E. So four gives me that A chord right there. Let's do that again. So I'm going to press return to get the C sharp. And then I need an E. So that's a third above. Then I need a C uh, G sharp. So that's another third above. And there we go. We got those. Next is a D. So I'm going to just move click click then I need another D and I need what a fourth up and now I need a third up from the G sharp and then I need a D triad so D third third and I get that 
then we need a an eighth rest so we put the eighth note and press R is one way of doing it another way of doing it is by uh, actually having your rest um, your rest palette on so simply simple entry rest palette on and we'll get all of those right here and then we can just select it I usually don't do it that way I usually just press R and get the note or the rest okay so let's keep them going we now need a quarter note with a dot just pressing the dot not there I need the quarter note first so I need the chord is an A chord on second inversion so E A so a fourth and a third and then I need a dotted quarter so dot there perfect now we need an E chord now we need an F diminished chord so I'm gonna press F to put the natural guess what N correct natural so I need a second above that and I need a B so a third above that Chet. Yes, perfect. And now I need an accent on that. So I'm going to go with my accents. I'm going to come in here, click there, and I'm going to press the accent, double click, and we've got it in. So lastly, we need in here is a little box that says piano. It's on the bottom, so it's going to be expressive. Let's dupe, edit, let's put piano in there. Perfect. And then I believe it was a drums in. So let's click here. Let's get that same piano. Dupe. Edit. Drums in. Press OK. I'll sign it. Oh, I had an exclamation point. You actually don't need it, so don't worry about it. That's that. Perfect. Let's keep on going. We're about to finish. So four more measures, and then we'll come back and catch all these chords as well. So here it's A, C sharp 88 for minor, A over C sharp, C sharp 88, D, oops, one more, back E over D, D, then A over E, E, F diminish, I don't know diminish, F uh, colon zero, it's going to bring this box, remember that, and just we're gonna, just going to go down looking for it, and you can use that, I prefer this, vim, diminish, so we have it, keep on going, let's put in our F sharp minor, C sharp, oops, C sharp minor, our D, our A over E, another F diminished, I can't remember it, so zero, looking for the box, it's right there, 59, okay, and let's move on, so another, oops, I send it to play, I don't want it to play, so stop, back here, F sharp, minor, I'm here, letter G already, so F sharp minor, need an E, then I need a D, C sharp minor, then I need a B minor, A over E, an E, let's stop there, move this down, double bar there, That is letter G, so let's go in here, type our letter G that way.